Hi, ladies, and welcome to this week's episode of Comfortable and Confident Inside and Out. I'm Suzanne Gunderson, and thank you so much for being here. Are you a mom that struggles with a bedtime routine for your children? If so, then the show is for you. We have Elise Montgomery on. She's a life and parenting coach, and she's here to share, us, share with us a simple routine to help make bedtime a breeze and give you back some mom confidence. And so you might be wondering who I am and what the show is all about, and those are two really great questions. I'm Suzanne Gunderson, a holistic stress relief mentor, and I help women to relieve anxiety, chronic stress, and build confidence, all using a technique called energy tapping. For 10 years, I have been helping women to improve their relationships, their health, their mental health, emotional health, physical health, gain clarity on their life purpose, and be able to move through really important life transitions with more ease. This show is called Comfortable, Confident, Inside and Out, which is to bring you top mentors in the areas of health, wellness, business, and finance, to have them share with you their top tips and strategies to help you feel comfortable everywhere that you go. So today I'm joined by Elise Montgomery, who is a life and parenting coach. She is the founder and, and author of Happy Family in 90 Days, which she's gonna share with us a little bit about today. So Elise, thank you so much for being here. And Thank you for having me. Yay. And please tell us about yourself, what you're passionate about. We definitely want to get to know you. Sure. Okay. So um, my program is called Happy Family in 90 Days. And yes, I am a life and parenting coach. And um, I have two kids. So I'm sort of, I, I, I did all of this as on the job training as a mom. And um, my, my son is 19 years old and my daughter is 12. My son was diagnosed with autism when he was two and I had a whole team of therapists, but his behaviors were out of control. So the therapists were all working on autism related things, but nobody was handling the behaviors. And um, it didn't matter what I did. He always threw temper tantrums and at his worst, he threw seven tantrums a day that lasted an hour and a half at, at, a, at a time. Wow. And so my, my day was basically going in from one tantrum to the next. And, and the screams were louder than like typical children. And it was, I was a mess. And it would be over something like I put the plate down the wrong way. I cut the chicken the wrong way. I grabbed the wrong foot. It didn't matter. And my life was spent... Um, trying to get in front of all of those things to avoid them. And I just wanted to try and avoid the yelling and the screaming. And it didn't matter what I did, he still yelled and screamed. So when I finally like gave into it and stopped trying to prevent it and stop letting it rule my life and let him be the boss of me, after all, he's a child. And granted, there were a lot of initials after his name, autism spectrum <laughs> disorder, anxiety, um, OCD, all of those things that I decided I don't, you know, I don't, I have to stop caring because it's ruining me. And while I honor his disabilities, it, it just can't rule me anymore. It's not serving either of us. And so with that, I sort of went into a Spencer boot camp where I just started to ignore things. And um, I always kept a journal on Spencer. And what I realized was when I changed my actions and reactions to Spencer, his actions changed. And so, Spencer's your 19 year old son, just so everybody my knows. 19 year old. And so, um, you know, people always want to know, well, where is he now? Where is he now? And so he's going to USF in the summer. He started his own business. He is in regular public school. He oh, has wow. no IEP. He has a 3.5 GPA. He has friends. You know, it took a lot, a lot of work, but I took control back of my life. I think one of the things parents don't realize is that you, you think, oh, I have no control over my kids. And actually you have plenty of control. You just have to learn how to get it back. And so my purpose, my, my friends used to always tell me their problems. And because I sat in on so many therapy sessions, I just sort of started to absorb all of the information. And they would just sit around like most moms do. We would sit around like most moms do, like just complaining. Unfortunately, that's what moms do. Oh, my kids this, my kids that. And, and I would just say, oh, just do this and this. It's so easy and blah, blah, blah. And, they, and it would always work. And so one day they said to me, Elise, you have to be able to help more than just the people in Spencer's class and in your circle. You have to do this. So 
I did with some, some pushing and prodding from outside people. And I started helping parents. And then I realized that I had a very systematic approach. And that was when I wrote my program, Happy Family in 90 Days. And when you talk about what is my passion, it was, my life was so miserable when Spencer was throwing those tantrums. And my life's work is to help families get out of that place because it is a very, very dark, dark place for parents to be. And we think that it's okay and we think it's normal because everybody sort of feels that way. Like, oh, I can't stand my kids or, oh, I'm going on vacation with my kids. Like, eh, you know. Yeah, and I want to, like, I just want to invite anybody who's watching us right now. Like if you're one of those moms who's just like wants to pull your hair out of your head and you're just going crazy and you're just having meltdowns and feel like you're completely out of control or your kids have more control over your family than you do, and let us know, pop it in the, the comments in the chat window uh, so we can hear kind of what it is you're going through. Well, we want to know that you, you know, you understand this or that you're right there with us. That way, you know, we can make comments and, uh, and, and, and uh, connect back with you. So let us know if that's what's going on with you. Yeah, it's, it's tough, you know, and we feel bad and guilty and all those kinds of things. We should love our kids. And, but it's really tough and it can be very lonely when you have just a child that doesn't maybe really know what to do. And, it just, I, I, I want to help families come back together and enjoy each other again. And um, I always say, I wanted to run away from my family. I really did. I just wanted to get away mm -hmm. and not be a part of it. I couldn't handle it. And now, you know, I enjoy my family. I enjoy family vacations. We have a good time together. We have a good time on the weekends together, all that kind of stuff. So I want to be able to provide that to parents. I think it's really important. It shouldn't be the standard that we are like, you know, so frustrated. And yeah, right. So like you said, you were going and like, you know, having these little complaining circles with these other groups of mom until you actually, yeah. groups of moms until you found a a constructive way to kind of address it. And now you've got your own methodology and approach to be able to yes. help people get re-empowered in, in their parenting role and then actually enjoy it and then watch their child grow up to be a success like you did with your son, which is just amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. so I know today we're here to talk a little bit about how to help women, moms, uh, to ease through uh, a, a, you know, a children's bedtime routine a little bit better than maybe what they're going through with their stress and struggle. So. What have you got to share with us that can help these moms out there that are losing control <laughs> and pulling their hair out of their head come bedtime? Okay, so I, my, my program, Happy Family in 90 Days, is just that. You know, it, it is really a guidebook, a template to give parents um, just easy to follow directions, really, because parenting doesn't come with a handbook. It's crazy, you know, we take a test for driving and we get trained when we go to work and we get all of that kind of information and with really anything that we do and they hand you the kid at the hospital and you're on your own, man. And it's pretty scary. So I've tried to provide a little bit of a guidebook for parents with children between the ages of two to 12. And when I realized that I was the one who could really change Spencer's behaviors, mm -hmm. that was when I realized how powerful us as parents could be. So let's take bedtime. This is usually a very adversarial time for, for families. Why? Kids don't want to go to bed. So you chase them, get in the shower, get in the bath. You know, it's like this, I mean, like literally you see kids running around and parents are chasing them and you're like, oh my God, I am like a big important person at work and I am seriously... <laughs> chasing this two-year-old around the house. What is wrong here? And to a certain degree, parents just accept it, you know, but there is a better way. And one of the, um, the, the, the first part of my book is all about connection. Because once you can fully connect with your children, the, behaviorals, the behavioral process becomes so much easier. A lot of the behaviors that parents were seeing become less. And, um, and then when those behaviors do come, we're able to use the strategies it, that I have in my book to mm -hmm. handle those behaviors. But so we first work on the connection and um, parents will say, 
oh, but I totally connect with my kids. I pick them up every day from school. I drive them to and from soccer and I do this and I'm with them. I'm with them 24 hours a day. Yes, yes. But do you give them the attention that you would give maybe your husband or your friends? You know, we're so, we're so, you know, in it when we're, when we're with our friends or our spouse or, but a lot of times when we're with our children, we're doing a million other things. We're on the phone, we're this, we're that. So what I realized was that bedtime is such a great time to connect. And I, and I just broke it down into three different categories for families. And I actually, so in my, my workbook, I have a template that I provide and I tell my families, you know, put this on your bedside table and I teach them strategy and then they learn this and it's, it's just so clear and concise. And I break it down into three different categories. So the first one is fun. And this is a, an electronic free zone. I always say that it's an electronic free zone and it's also a judgment free zone. So, you know, anything that we would normally like, rah, 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 you know, life lesson, don't do it now. We're just there to connect. So mm -hmm. the very first thing is fun. You know, your kids are always asking you, mommy, 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 do this, do this, do this. And you're like, oh my God, seriously, the last thing I want to do is play Candyland at seven o'clock at night. But if that's what your child wants to do, then play Candyland. Or if they want to talk to you about Pokemon or baseball cards or cars or whatever it is that literally is the most boring thing on the planet, to you, to you, yeah. And so just commit, commit. And it's just, you know, like 15 minutes. And you know, I tell families just 30 minutes, 30 minutes, that's it. And even if you can't do that, 15 minutes, and I break it down by percentage. So, you know, give them 30 minutes and you do 15 minutes of this fun. And then after that, you go into what I call the talk time. So you've come up with, a, you know, a list of things that you can do for fun. And really it's, contingent upon the child. So, um, you know, like I said, if the child is into Pokemon, do that. And it's only 15 minutes. I know it seems like a lot, but <laughs> you end up actually having fun once you're in it. Well, think so, of all the time that you'll save instead of running around the house with the two exactly. kids after the two-year-old. So yeah. 15 once minutes you do this isn't a lot. One night, your child is like, oh, because they look forward to it because they have your undivided attention which is very rare for us as parents. We're doing so many different things and we're distracted with, you know, technology and things like that. And um, so we, you know, you commit to just this. And, you know, sometimes parents can't do it every night and that's okay too. You do what you can, but can commit to, you know, maybe three nights a week or something like that. And what you'll find is that you like it and, and you enjoy it and you'll do it more. So you start with that and, and you've now connected on this sort of fun level. And then you segue into 10 minutes of talk time. And so parents always say, my child doesn't talk to me. And you know, you pick them up from daycare, or they're three, they're exhausted. How was your day? Uh, what'd you do? Uh, you know, nothing. Even if they're 10 years old, how was your day? Fine. What'd you do? Nothing. Really? Seven hours? You did nothing? Okay, great. You don't get the answers then. You have to get it much more organically. So when you are having a good time, their defenses are down and the conversation starts to happen much easier. So let's say that it doesn't. Then you can then talk about something that happened to you during the day that would elicit a conversation. Mm -hmm. So if the child isn't talking, you could say, if you wanted to say something like, how was your day? And they're still not really giving you much information. You could say to them, the funniest thing happened to me today. I was walking and I didn't see this thing in front of me and I tripped and I looked like such a goofball and oh my God, people were laughing at me. And then all of a sudden the, your child's talking about what happened to them and something at school. They looked like such a goofball or the person over there looked like such a goofball. And then everybody was laughing at them. And then, it, you know, and then you start finding out information about friends and teachers mm -hmm. and things like that. And so it's a much more organic approach to mm -hmm. connecting with your children. And then finally, the last just five minutes are just quiet time. And we always learn as parents, don't ever put your children to sleep asleep because then they need you to go to sleep and you don't want them having that habit and blah, 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 blah. So 
I tell parents, you can just stay there for a couple minutes and lay quietly. So with my daughter, she will always continue to talk. And then I'll say, sweetheart, if you don't stop talking, I'm going to have to leave because this is just a quiet time. This is the really serious wind down time. And if you think about us as adults, we need a bedtime routine. I don't just get, unless I am like literally plop dead tired, mm -hmm. I need something to wind down. And oftentimes parents will be like, okay, it's time for bed. And yeah, we have a bedtime routine. I read to them for five minutes and we're done. But that's not really enough time to wind down. And so I say, you know, you, you, you yourself get into bed and maybe you talk to your spouse or maybe you, I go on YouTube and I watch stupid, mindless makeup videos. I love it. It is like the best to me. And, but that's my wind down. And then I'm asleep, you know? So kids are the same way. They just want a little bit of something to wind down, but we can add that extra connection in there. And so it's just, you know, that's it. Fun, talk, and then just that couple minutes of quiet time and then leave while they're still awake, but quiet and calm. That's it. And it seems so complicated, but yet it's so, so, so very simple. And yeah, 30 minutes is probably going to save you hours worth of stress hours and torture. Of around and screaming, 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 and just fighting. And it, you know, it's, it really is such a difficult time for a lot of parents, you know, and some parents it's okay. And maybe they have the routine down, but I would say for the most part, parents really struggle. I, you know, I teach my class here in Palm Beach County in, in the schools and the parents will tell me that, it's not, you know, everything about bedtime. My child won't sleep in their room. They get out of bed. They, they you know, everything. You, you know, you got to get them back in the room. You got to get back control and just slop it in there. Give them some time and call it a day. And, you know, that's it. So, hey, so moms, if you're watching and listening, you know, tell us what you think about this. Is this something you're going to try out? This 30 minutes of you know, fun and then, you know, connection and talking and then some quiet time and see if this is going to work for you. You know, let us know where you're struggling or any questions or, you know, you want any more fine tuning uh, answers from, from Elise, just pop them in the chat and let us know what they are so we can get back to you. Um, but yeah, this sounds like a really, like you said, complicatedly simple process to follow and it's going to save you hours worth of your time and your energy and the stress that we all go through with that bedtime cycle and it really is going to give that structure that I think yeah. a lot of kids want I think that when when they don't have that structure that you know they just um they, they it just they, they want that they crave that structure in their life so much and when they don't have it is when they start to just make your life out of control so oh my god totally and not only that but parents need that 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 structure to follow it's a lot easier for us as parents to say okay you know if i if i were to just say okay guys just have a bedtime routine but to break it down and to know that you can have it that structured but and, and that's simple and you know if somebody were to say to you oh it's 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 really just that simple you know you if your life could be better by just following a b and c you'd be like oh hell yes you know just <laughs> find me up tell me where Right, and, right. You know, that's, that's really, that's really what the crux of my entire program is, is just that those guidelines, that structure, and exactly what you said, Suzanne, is it provides structure for the children, for the parents, for everybody. Awesome. Well, I love it. And um, I thank you so much for sharing it. I know it's part of your, your Happy Family and 90 Day program. So if there's any moms out there that are interested to find out more from Elise, all of her contact information is going to be the description box of this video, whether it's uh, on YouTube or Facebook that you're watching it, all of her contact information is going to be on there. So if you're a mom, you're a single mom or you're co-parenting or you're with your husband or your partner and you're trying to, um, you know, really get some structure into your life, you know, feel free to connect with Elise and, and, uh, and look into her happy family program or even just, you know, her as a, as a life and parenting coach. So, Elise, thank you so much for being here and sharing all of your awesome wisdom. Is there any last thing you'd like to share with us before we go? Um, first of all, thank you so much for helping for for having me, and thank you so much for helping all the people that you do with your anxiety. You know, people that suffer from anxiety. I just think it's amazing when people have that type of community that they can be a part of, and. Um, so I wanted to thank you for that. If people have questions, they can um, go to my website and they can always schedule a complimentary 
discovery call, 30 minute discovery call with me, see if my program is something that works for them. It's not for everybody. You know, people always ask me because the birth of my program came from my autistic son. Oh, does, you know, is this only for autistic kids? No, absolutely not. This is for exhausted parents. That's it, you know, just to learn how to kind of get yourself on track. Yeah, get, get control back of your life. So yeah, it's for, it's for everybody. Fantastic. Well, um, thank you again. And everyone, thanks for participating and being here with us. Uh, again, this show is Comfortable and Confident Inside and Out, where we bring you top mentors in areas of health, wellness, business, finance, to help you be comfortable everywhere that is that you go. Right now, it's on Facebook at the Empowered Tapping Revolution every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So we will see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.